Aruba is an incredible island filled with tons of incredible things. In the last two episodes, we have discovered Aruba's most beautiful beaches, picturesque ocean views, and some of the fun things to do on the island. This island has plenty to offer, and that includes tasty food and so many amazing restaurants to choose from. Don't forget to subscribe while I show you around some of my favorite places. One of my absolute favorite places to have breakfast or lunch is Aruba Experience Cafe and Patisserie. Not only do they have tasty food to choose from, but it also has a very pleasant and charming atmosphere. This place is established inside a traditional heritage farmhouse. The building is over 150 years old, but it has been restored to keep its Aruban charm. They serve tasty croissants, coffee, healthy smoothies, salads, and my personal favorite, Venezuelan-style corn arepas. Next on the list with modern and rustic decor is Santos Coffee. This location is close to Manchebu Beach, so unless you're staying in this area, you will need a car to get here. They have a great selection of coffee, juices, bagels, croissants, and salads. And they have indoor-outdoor seating as well as Wi-Fi. Overall, this is a great stop to get some quick breakfast and satisfy your caffeine craving. Located right on the beach in front of Playa Linda Hotel, Eduardo's Beach Shack offers healthy breakfast and lunch options. Here you can find smoothies, cold pressed juices, acai bowls, vegan tacos, kombucha and specialty coffee. This place is also really cute and great for some colorful photos. Staying around the Palm Beach area, Salt and Pepper is a great place for breakfast and lunch. This is a casual and affordable place to eat if you're looking for a typical American-style breakfast of bacon and eggs. This place is definitely not a must-try on the island, but it is affordable and has a good atmosphere. Right next to Salt and Pepper, you can find Willem's Dutch Pancakes. They serve sweet and savory pancakes, and you can pick your own toppings. If Dutch pancakes is your thing, I would also recommend trying out Linda's Dutch pancakes. They have so many different toppings to choose from and they also serve other breakfast items. If you're looking for a unique Caribbean seafood experience, Z-Rovers is a must-try on the island. This local restaurant does not have a set menu, but they serve seafood right out of the ocean depending on the catch of the day. And that might include fish like wahoo, snapper, barracuda, kingfish, and shrimp when available. You can also get a side order of french fries, plantains, onions, and Aruban cornbread. Everything here tastes delicious and you can enjoy your seafood with a spectacular view of the ocean. Another great place for lunch is Lola, which is an authentic Mexican taqueria in the heart of Aruba's Palm Beach. Here you can delight your palate and stimulate your taste buds with fresh tacos, yummy cocktails, and a great vibe. Right next to Lola's, you can enjoy traditional Italian cuisine at a More Mio Pizzeria. They have delicious pizza made from scratch, they have lasagna, salads, and yummy cocktails. If you are gluten sensitive, they do offer gluten-free pizza. And they also make the most delicious mojitos on the island. If you're looking to bring your cocktail to the beach, just ask them to serve it in a to-go cup.
Aruba has never had a shortage of fantastic restaurants to choose from for dinner time. Papiamento is a magical combination of museum and tropical paradise. Set by the pool in a lush tropical garden adjacent to an old manor that's over a hundred years old, this venue is the most romantic spot on the island in my opinion. It's perfect for an anniversary celebration or a special occasion. Aside from the atmosphere, the food is simply delicious. They have different seafood options, lamb chops, beef tenderloin, lobster, and deliciously prepared shrimp. Madame Jeanette welcomes you with live music, delicious food, and a beautiful garden. This place has been operating for over two decades and serving tourists from all over the world. It has a nice family type of atmosphere and plenty to choose from the menu, including seafood and steak. For more than 30 years, Gianni's has been serving some of the best Italian food on the island. With inside and outside dining, this place can host small and large parties. They have a ton of pastas and pizza to choose from, and if you are gluten sensitive, this is the place to go. If you're looking for a unique experience, try the spaghetti in a cheese wheel. Situated in downtown Aranyastad behind the Renaissance Hotel, Yamanja has been serving innovative Caribbean cuisine since 2007. With outdoor seating, Yamanja has a welcoming and cozy atmosphere. And they serve delicious locally caught fish, shrimp, prime cuts of beef, lamb and pork, all prepared over a wood fire. Wilhelmina is a great place to dine or indulge in a cocktail. Located in Aranyastad, it's a trendy place where guests are seated in a beautiful tropical outdoor city garden. The food is delicious with high quality ingredients from around the world. Here you can find fresh seafood, black Angus steak and homemade fresh pasta. The restaurants in Aruba are one of the main reasons it's such a popular island. There's so many more options to choose from, but this video would take days to show you all the amazing restaurants this island has to offer. However, there are a few more spots worth mentioning. For dessert, check out the school bus selling gelato right across from Gianni's. It's such a cute spot with outdoor seating and upstairs seating on the bus as well. If you are into steak, Tango Argentine Grill serves the finest cuts of beef. I'm not a steak person, but I would definitely come back and try this place again. For delicious seafood and lobster, I would recommend Fishes and More, which is located right next to Tango Argentine Grill. The lobster here was pricey, but delicious and flavorful. For a quick bite in Aranyastad, Cuba's cooking has plenty of sandwiches, wraps, and tacos to choose from. And for a blend of Portuguese and Aruba cuisine, check out Gostoso and try their octopus and shrimp. Aruba has it all. From beautiful beaches, plenty of activities, and amazing food, this island will not disappoint. In the next series, we'll take a look at some of the popular high-rise and boutique hotels on the island. So please subscribe and get notified of the next episode.